What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. This video is Eminem announces Marshall Mathers LP two, part two. For those that missed the first video, I was basically talking about the announcement of Eminem's new album. This one is going to be based on the single called Berserk that was uh, featured as a snippet in the commercial when he announced the album in the Dre Beats commercial. A lot of people hit me up, they wanted to know my thoughts on it, and in a nutshell, someone already um, commented on this on my last video, and um, I've mentioned this before in previous Eminem videos that he's known for putting out uh, I guess these singles that are safe radio friendly singles uh, chanty singles that you know sort of attract the audience that's not really into rap you know the, the pop audience the safe audience the, the soccer moms the parents that, that say oh I, li I like that song I could sing along to it, you know what I mean? That's how I feel about this song. And I'm not gonna go and judge the album based off this song, it's not out yet. Um, he has a track record for doing this. Look at My Name Is, look at uh, um, The Real Slim Shady, Without Me. Those are all poppy fucking songs that he puts out there. Even though, you know, um, his first real single off of the Slim Shady LP was Just Don't Give a Fuck. It didn't get as much burn as um, um, Hi My Name Is or My Name Is. It didn't get as much burn, you know, because Just Don't Give a Fuck was sort of aggressive and this and that. And um, as far as the production on the album, I mean, excuse me, on this song, is produced by my man Rick Rubin, dope producer, legendary producer. Um, you know it's Rick Rubin. He loves fucking with the guitar riffs and shit. And um, again, it's very safe. Um, Stat Quo just recently released a, a statement saying that he thinks that the album is gonna have a Beastie Boys feel. And I, I agree, just based on this track alone, it has that, you know, that, that, that feel that Beastie Boys um, used to put out. And I, and I mentioned this before, that some of the snippets in um, the, um, one of the promos for uh, this album, you know, Eminem is rapping in the camera like the So What You Want video by the Beastie Boys where it was multicolored and distorted coloring and shit. So, I mean, and Rick Rubin is a former producer of the Beastie Boys. So, I, I mean, I think it's gonna, it might have that feel. I might have to agree with Stat Quo on it. Um, lyrically, again, it's just fucking safe. It's not too, it's not too super complex for people, it's fun, it's a fun song, it's, you know, that, that little kids are gonna be singing. So, again, I'm not gonna, you know, say, oh, the album's gonna be like that. It's too early for me to say, Eminem's done this before. That's basically where I'm gonna end it on. Um, I will say that this is gonna be one of those tracks that I will be pressing uh, skip on. It's not really something for me. You know, I like the lyrical Eminem, the one that talks about subjects, the one who just goes in on the mic. That That's the Eminem that I love. And uh, hopefully with the Marshall Mathers LP 2 coming out, like I said in the first video, I hope he, if he's going to, uh, you know, use the name Marshall Mathers LP, he has a lot to live up to based off the, the first one. And uh, I hope he does it. And everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. And that's it. Cop the Marshall Mathers LP2 coming in November. Peace, bitches.